Something that you will know, but folk listening to our conversation may not be as aware of, is that in the Middle East, the penny has dropped, curiously. I mean, Saudi Arabia now investing massively in a number of green energy projects. Egypt investing heavily in nuclear. OK, they're not a big oil producer, but Saudi are. They get it. They know the game is up. We need all of us to be following in their footsteps. I absolutely right. And I think, unfortunately, there's been this hiatus in the United Kingdom. As I say, I think we've been in hibernation. The government has been in hibernation for the last few weeks and is continuing that until next uh, Thursday when we have the, the uh, uh, budget. And then we may have some... At the moment, we've got very little legislation coming into the House of Commons and the House of Lords. But I'd also like to see the IMF playing a bigger part. I don't understand why the International Monetary Fund, which brings together all the rich countries, uh, isn't playing a bigger part in, in helping uh, in relation to climate change. Final point, people who are watching us on television um, and for those who are listening to us on radio, just midway through that answer, uh, we, we, we showed a picture of uh, Biden. He has started speaking. So I'm going to ask right. you one final question and end our conversation. We're then going to take a news bulletin while the news gang behind me listen to the Biden speech, pick out the best bits and we'll play them to our audiences. But m my final question uh, to you is this. You, you and I also go back a long way in, uh, in, in student politics as well as real adult politics. Do you not agree with me that this, the Just Stop Oil protesters who have very little public support are essentially counterproductive to everything that you've always believed in uh, and I do too? I think you've chosen exactly the right phrase counterproductive. What their, their aim, their ideas, I understand and sympathize with. Drought. The way they're trying to force them on us, the way they're trying to uh, draw our attention to it is very, very unfortunate indeed. And so that's a crystal clear message. They should stop it and, and, and get on with it. Uh, there was a, a member of the government, I think it was the education secretary, who said, you know, they're bright young things and it looks as if a few of them have got a bob or two. Maybe they should be in Sharm el Sheikh listening to the arguments uh, or even in China trying to protest there. Absolutely. China or India, those are two big uh, polluters as well. But I think if they started to doing what they're doing here uh, in China, they wouldn't last very long.